Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sesternino back here to kick off our coverage of a Big Brother Canada 9 here on RHAP. Very excited to have you aboard here live for our Big Brother Canada 9 cast draft. Uh, we have uh, gotten uh, the Big Brother Canada 9 cast uh, dropped on us as of yesterday. We're here to look at the people that are we are looking at for now. Who knows? Maybe there could be more people added uh, as the season gets underway. That's going to be on Wednesday night, March 3rd, as Big Brother Canada returns. So let's welcome in our uh, team of drafters here tonight. Of course, uh, the man who uh, takes you through the entire Big Brother season from start to finish. Here he is. Taryn Armstrong. Taryn, how are you? I'm doing very well. Very excited for uh, a, a new season, a new start. Um, we've got uh, Arissa as an executive producer, Big Brother Canada 9. Very exciting. And, uh, you know, I think I think we're owed some good Big Brother. So I hope we get some. We hope so. We hope so. Uh, looking forward to uh, a long completed season of Big Brother Canada coming in march okay of course uh back with us it's uh the voice of the people melissa denny melissa how are you <laughs> i'm doing great i'm so excited to be back um i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in so long so this is uh this is very very good i'm very looking forward to uh winning this draft finally please finally finally i feel like okay. i say that every single time yeah it's like my okay. opener for the draft uh and we are very lucky to have back with us that he drafted with us over the summer. And here he is back to uh, win a Big Brother Canada draft. He's celebrating a, a birthday this week. Happy belated birthday to Amon Adwin. Amon, how are you? I'm back, baby. Yes, I failed <laughs> miserably at the BBUS draft, but I'm back <laughs> to uh, you know redeem myself. It's a quick turnaround. Really excited. Big Brother Canada. I echo everything that everyone has said so far. I'm really excited for Big Brother Canada 9. Should be a great season. Yes. Aman, you must have been very good this year to get a Big Brother Canada season uh, dropped on your birthday. I know. The, the stars were just aligning when we got the, like a little bit of an announcement. Like last week, I was like, oh my goodness, they're going to wait an entire week before they give it to us. And I was like, Wednesday's my birthday. And then it happened. Mm -hmm. So I am grateful to Arissa grateful yes all hail queen arissa <laughs> all right uh i do have some news to just talk about up front at the top of the show i know a lot of people are probably wondering uh where is brent that he had been part of our uh, big brother podcasting team for quite some time going back to it was big brother canada 3 that we uh first uh had uh you know uh taryn come on board and brent come on board too uh but i am uh, very sad to say that brent is not going to be part of our podcast team anymore uh brent has always been a uh, good friend to us here on the podcast but unfortunately that uh we just felt like that there are too many areas especially in social media where we did not see eye to eye with uh brent he's always you know brings a lot of energy to the podcast but uh, i felt like it was time to make a change and uh i spoke with brent and i feel like that we parted on very good terms and i wish uh, brent nothing but the best but uh, we are going to move forward, and I feel like that we've added uh, so much talent to the roster here uh, in the last year specifically that I think we have a very deep bench to uh, cover Big Brother, and I'm very much looking forward to uh, Big Brother Canada 9, and uh, all the best to Brent. Okay, all right, so that's... Uh, you know, just to give you the RHAP side of things, uh, I can tell you uh, a little bit about what we have coming up schedule-wise. Uh, Taryn, uh, you're going to be back one more time before the start of the new season on Monday night. Yes. Uh, Mike Bloom and I are looking at doing a, uh, a think tank podcast for Big Brother Canada um, where we are going to talk through potential twists, uh, ideas for the season and, uh, and, you know, hopefully they'll be wacky and, uh, all over the place and we'll have some fun. Can't go wrong with Mike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Wednesday night, March 3rd, big brother Canada nine is back. Uh, and we will have uh, live updates after all of the episodes. Normally in a regular big brother Canada season, uh, we have to compete with survivor 
when it comes back. But uh, no Survivor to be seen in the near future. Uh, Big Brother Canada 9 is going to be back on Wednesday night. Uh, and uh, Taryn, uh, you'll be back live after the premiere. Yes. Uh, uh, live recaps Wednesday, Thursday, uh, every, every day, every day for Big Brother Canada. We're going to be there every day that there's an episode and also every day that there's feeds. Yeah. OK. And the live feeds are do we know when they're going to kick off? I am. I am guessing that it's going to be Thursday night. I'm guessing there's going to be an eviction Thursday night and the feeds will come back on after that live episode. Yeah. OK. So uh, we will be all set up for the episode recaps, the daily live feed updates. You want to make sure you're subscribed to our Big Brother podcast feed if you don't want to miss anything at robinswebsitecom slash BB podcast. And I'm very excited that uh, after I was absentee in the Big Brother Canada 8 coverage uh, for the most part, I am very excited to say that I'm going to be jumping back into the fold and I will be hosting the Monday night Big Brother Canada 9 recaps here. I'm very excited to get back in. I will come in and I feel like I can't screw up too badly the Monday night recap of Big Brother Canada. I feel like that I can uh, come in and bring some crazy casual energy to talking about the Monday night episodes of Big Brother Canada. Mm, yes, R Rob's Rob's casual corner. I'll bring some fire <laughs> takes to the Monday night recaps. I'll talk about like, uh, could you believe that Wendy's order? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Did you believe they didn't even recognize their own mom? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to that and uh, getting uh, more involved with Big Brother Canada 9 with no Survivor uh, going on. Just a little uh, other RJP programming note that I had been doing the Survivor uh, panel discussions, counting down the top 40 seasons. I will still be recording those Wednesday night, but we will not be live uh, with those. We'll post those after uh, the Big Brother Canada recaps get done. Melissa, you, I know you have a new addition uh, since the last time that we spoke on the <laughs> Big Brother podcast. Tell us about your new pop yes this is piper um we're gonna have to start printing her face on the lfc merch um <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah we need to reprint on that just kidding um this is piper <laughs> i just want to show everyone because i saw the chat was saying like let's see piper so here's the quick uh say hello session and then we're gonna put her down <laughs> Not put oh her no down melissa no <laughs> don't do that don't do that <laughs> we're gonna put her down oh, off okay. on the, the podcast on the floor, on the okay. floor. Got it. Got <laughs> can you imagine okay. oh my god <laughs> very, we very so, yeah it'd be very dark uh, I, I need to get my words back for these podcasts i haven't spoken uh, to people in a long time. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, good. Well, you know, Melissa, uh, keep the puppies nearby because I feel like that uh, this is a night where it's like, okay, uh, here's something not fun to talk about. Then let's cut back to the puppies because I feel like that we have. Probably Cam. Like, Probably yeah. Cam. Yeah. But yeah, we'll just have one screen on them at all times just so that they do a little fun thing, get everyone's like spirits raised a little. Yes. Okay. Well, keep them nearby because we need to talk about uh, the news of the hour here in the world of Big Brother Canada. Uh, uh, the cast came out yesterday and, uh, you know, here we are not 36 hours later and uh, we already have a lot of issues going on with uh, one of the cast members here in this Big Brother Canada cast, uh, a, a man named Ethan who is uh, supposed to be part of this season now is the subject of a lot of scrutiny uh, after there were some uh, YouTube comments uh, that were posted by someone who knows him in real life that claim uh, that there was a, uh, a number of problematic incidents that have gone on, uh, including using uh, racial slurs, uh, that uh, racial attacks, uh, also uh, is it uh, sexual harassment, of, a, of, an, of another person? Uh, yeah, I mean, na name it, honestly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Name it, and he's probably been accused of it. Yeah. And then on top of that, uh, and while those were, you know, allegations that uh, need to be very much looked into, and it's also very disappointing that uh, if they are true, they were they were not discovered prior to him being cast on the show. Uh, there's also video floating around of him uh, using other uh, gay slurs on the Internet. And really, the, like, cue the Tyra Banks meme of Big Brother Canada 9. We're all rooting for you. <laughs> We're all rooting for you. Like, don't, do, that, do not blow this. Do not yeah. blow this. You have yeah. a chance. You have a chance to fix this. This is, yeah. this, this, I mean, we, we should have caught this. You can still fix this. You can still yeah. fix this. 
Personally, I think there's no chance this guy is on the cast. They have not moved in yet, I don't think. Uh, I, I think the odds of this person being on the cast yeah. by the time next week comes around are very slim, and I would be, I'd be very surprised. Mm-hmm. If, if I mean, you just can't, you can't start off the season that's supposed to be, you know, the big redemption for everything, considering what yeah. happened last year. You just can't start it off with someone like that that's already garnering so much negative press. They've even gotten in contact with production. So, so they're aware of it. I just don't see how you can move forward without getting rid of the guy. Get rid of this guy. And, you know, you can't think that in this time of COVID that they don't have several alternates that we saw what happened with Big Brother Canada 22 uh, with Josh and KC of like that. We had we had people like, oh, no, like they broke the like, uh, oh, they, they had a failed test. So you got to think that they are very deep on the bench with alternates, right? You would, yeah, you would hope so. I mm-hmm. I mean, I, I would imagine that's what I've been thinking, that obviously you're going to have a lot of potential alternates uh, ready to go. And honestly, even if they don't, like, you can figure it out. It's, it's fine. You can have a yeah. 13 or 15 or whatever person mm-hmm. cast that you want. It's fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're Big Brother Canada. You're good at figuring out uh, crazy <laughs> twist weeks to make oh, this Oh, man, work. we're going to have to lose the triple eviction? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So we're not drafting Ethan. Uh, we're going to pretend that he's not there and that we're just going to, you know, between now and then, now and Wednesday, Big Brother Canada, you know what to do. Okay? <laughs> you know what to do. This yes, sh- we're just going to act this, on them knowing what to do. This is an easy one. Assumption. This is an easy one. Mm-hmm. Every, every competition you have on this show is sponsored by a brand. Like, uh, this, this is so easy. Mm-hmm. This is so easy, Big Brother Canada. Okay? <laughs> All right. So uh, we will be drafting from, what, uh, uh, 11 uh, players? Or, th- or is it is there 13? 13. 13. Okay. All right. So um, that's an, even 14 was a weird number of uh, contestants. Uh, Taryn, has there been any sort of buzz that, like, uh, will Big Brother Canada 8 players be showing up? There is definitely some speculation that we might see some form of returning players. Uh, there's uh, The twist of the season is that they're going to be split into two teams and captains will be chosen. There's been some speculation yeah. that there might be two captains per team, and that would indicate that perhaps returning players would be the second captain for the teams. There's also space on the cast page for two more people, Mm. uh, like no matter how you resize it. Um, And uh, 14 is not a number that they would typically start with. They typically go with a 16 uh, person cast. So there's a lot of reason to think that there might be some returning players. Now, I don't think that means that it's necessarily from Big Brother Canada 8. Uh, I could see some people from Big Brother Canada 8 returning but I do not think it's a guarantee. We could potentially see uh, players from other seasons. Uh, are there other hot names that are potentially like uh, people that Big Brother Canada wants to, is dying to bring back? I mean, the thing is that I haven't really seen a mm-hmm. lot of names for anyone. I mean, even, even the names that you would expect from Big Brother Canada 8, um, Brooke uh, does not seem like she's on the cat. I mean, she could be mm-hmm. doing a good job, uh, but it does not seem like they Brooke never has do returned. A good um and so uh if brooke isn't there like and it it wouldn't even really make sense if there are uh, if they're on different teams to bring back brooke and sheldon because they were together uh it would be weird they're not really going to be on separate teams so it's possible that maybe they're bringing back like sheldon and then maybe somebody else or something along those lines but uh, who knows aman do you like the idea of teams um, yeah, I mean, I don't mind it to, for the beginning. I feel like it, you know, it creates like a sense of camaraderie, um, maybe alliances that might not have happened uh, at first, sort of mm-hmm. a spark out of necessity. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's sort of, you know, it, it, it might keep players that might have actually been people that would have been regular first boots, maybe to keep them safe a little longer. Yeah. So I think it definitely spices up the game a little bit. I'm excited I, for it. I love it. I think it's going to be great. I that because I know we were talking about last season about like you know the cast is too big with sixteen. You know we get like mm-hmm. these uh, early votes. Uh, you know by a vote of like thirteen yeah. to zero. Um, especially if you if only your team votes that 
it sort of like uh, puts like a, a lot of like, a, you know, it, it, I think it could uh, make for some exciting like first couple of weeks of the season that have some stakes where people are like really important votes. It's like, oh, I'm just going to do what the House wants. It's like, well, there's only five mm -hmm. people voting right now. So that this is actually yeah. like a, re a really big vote. And then the people from the other side of the House uh, might have nothing to do, but they also like might be in really invested in trying to swing the vote one way or the other. Have um, they said that's the way it's going to be? I don't be. know. I'm that's, speculating. I'm speculating. Yeah, because I feel like if that would be an interesting twist where it's kind of like Survivor-esque in that way. But if they do it where it's like it's teams, but then only someone from the losing team can be evicted, but everyone gets to vote, then I don't know if it's as good to me just because like then it's like, okay, well, let's get rid of a really good player because – like, I don't want a really good player playing against me. So if I'm on the opposite team, I'm going to vote out the best player. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. It, it could go either way. But I, I do like it in a more of a survivor way, like you yeah. were saying. So, Taryn, do you have any thoughts on this? There are definitely, I mean, like like any twist, there are there are good ways to go about this and there are bad ways to go about this. Uh, knowing Big Brother Canada's history, I fully expect them to do the bad <laughs> way. Um, but uh, But here, look. Here, I'll say, I think it could work depending on how they format it. So <laughs> I'll I'll give them this until they say what it is, and then I'll tell them why it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Aaron, lying in wait. <laughs> lying in wait. <laughs> yeah. Also, right. I don't I don't know if I would like it if like I, I think it also depends like who's on what team because I feel like if there's like one really dominant team and then the other team is just like all the misfits or something, it's like okay, that's not going to be fun to watch. Yeah. How would but, they pick um, the teams? Yeah, that's going to be, be something interesting. So, if, it's yeah. A, yeah, if it's a draft, then I don't what know. It, what it seems to be is that, uh, so the first first real twist is that the audience is going to vote for two players to become team captains. Um, and then those two captains are going to draft the teams. There's a little bit of confusion about exactly how that will work. Um, some people thinking that uh, based on the wording of the thing, that uh, the captains will be choosing the other person's team and not their own, mm -hmm. uh, or it could just be a straight up draft uh, of them choosing their own team. This is, in my opinion, kind of risky because it definitely could lead toward an in, in, in team group and an out team group. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, again, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how they do it. Okay. All right. And do we know what day they move into the house? Uh, a lot of people have been talking about Saturday as uh, mm -hmm. as the day. I think that uh, makes some sense, um, but uh, I don't think anybody is sure. Hey, you know what? Uh, again, hard to often find the silver linings of the global pandemic, uh, but I will say uh, no uh, spoilers coming out of the live show. <laughs> Honestly, yep. no live audience. I am so down for in every aspect. I don't like mm -hmm. their influence on the game. I don't enjoy them on the show itself. I prefer it when it's a little more chill. Uh, yeah. Thank there's, you, there's no spoilers. Thank you, exactly. Man. Like I am so I the only downside is that Arissa loves having the audience and interacting with them and I and I feel I feel We want Arissa to be regard. happy. Yeah. Yes. But for me, I'm very happy that there's no audience. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I think we got all of the housekeeping out of the way. Are we ready to get into our draft? Let's do it. Okay. So uh, each of us will get to pick so. three people. Uh, we will have uh, one player that is uh, that is, the audience will get. Okay. So uh, the, for audience playing along, uh, you get you, you get that player. And then also, um, are, do they get the alternate also? And what about returning <laughs> house guests? We yeah, should, you know, let's come back. How about this? That whoever doesn't get drafted, um, that, that we'll have like the all the alternate that replaces Ethan, and then the two returning players. So they're like uh, maybe like we should have like uh, after the first episode, oh, then yeah, we should have we should each pick another person. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and whoever whoever gets the first pick, they also get the, whoever doesn't get picked in this draft. Maybe that's, that's well, let's figure yeah. that out. I feel out like later. I'm getting okay. already confused. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, it, makes, it makes sense. It makes sense. We have there'll be yeah. one more Terms round of the draft that will that will come. But I will say whoever whoever makes the first pick, they get the alternate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not the alternate. Whoever gets left, they get the thirteenth person from this. Yes. Draft. Okay. We'll we'll just All continue right. the order. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, I did win. You know, I'm not for anything. Uh, don't look now. <laughs> I've, I've I've won the last two Big Brother U.S. drafts. Mm, we were just yes. being nice and we gave those to you. So mm -hmm. yes. we'll okay. see. 
Yes. All right. Um, so that with that in mind, I will I will make the order for this draft. Okay. All right. So let me go with I'm gonna go uh Melissa, Amon, uh right. myself, and then Taryn for two. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, so how many do we each get? So we'll each get three, the three people. Yes. Three. Okay. And the order was Melissa, Amon, Taryn, Rob? Yes. Mark. Okay. Okay. Who All right. Writing? <laughs> well, yeah. you know, got my little notepad here. If you like go all the yeah. way back, there's like previous drafts in here. And really, we're <laughs> yeah, just going off too, this of... is the one I used for maybe 22. <laughs> yeah. The there, legacy there are, of it all. There's <laughs> just the uh, Big Brother official, Big Brother Canada global uh, interviews, correct? Yeah, nothing else has yeah. come out yet. And nothing let's else. be real. Ika's not doing interviews this year, so... So we're not learning anything. Is there anything else to learn <laughs> mm -hmm. at this point? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, okay. yeah, there's, uh, there's so little to go off of. It's like, I was trying to take notes and usually I can take like a lot of notes on the, on the little intro package or like on whatever interviews that they do. But I felt like it was like, I had like nothing to say. It was like, I think they've seen the show before. Like, just cause there's like not enough information. Like, what am I going to do? Like, put down like she has a cat like mm -hmm. i just feel like that's not relevant <laughs> so yep. although i will say i did really love the intro videos this time around i felt like i liked being able yeah. to see like their houses and like where they live and like mm -hmm. have see the way they filmed themselves like yeah. mm -hmm. it was like how we found taryn <laughs> taryn's intro video mm -hmm. taryn have you published that yet my my uh, audition video yeah yeah <laughs> You can find I love it. And the, yeah. the point of that was that it was supposed to look like a nondescript hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Um, what do we think they, yeah. they send them out like a ring light to all like because it, it can't yeah. be a coincidence that they all had like the same light. They yeah. sent them a ring light. They sent them like a professional camera as well. But yeah. I didn't quite understand like it was like they sent them. Well, yeah, but well, some of them had like really high def images, and then they would have all of them film themselves filming themselves, and I'm like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that is true. I didn't even think of that. That's so and funny. The, the film of the film was like lower quality than the film. I'm like, what are y'all doing? It was just, it, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I was, I was there for all of like the production value of it all, yeah. but it was, it was just a little weird. I feel like yeah. I, I got Style, to know their, pers huh? I got to know their personalities yeah. more than I do with like the, um, like just like the plain like background with like the weird lights and like the weird like poses like I feel like this was so much better for me to like understand who they were and like to see like okay what's important to them what are they mm -hmm. showing me like and it was interesting to see also like where they came from like it was interesting to see like Austin's background was like it looked like her childhood bedroom or something I don't know if that's mm -hmm. the case but then mm -hmm. like you know who was it uh Rohan uh his was like this like black sleek kitchen and I was just yeah. like okay I kind of get who you are too like you kind of yeah. I feel like you know more about them than uh you do just in like that weird like posy thing that they ha always have I been agree. doing mm -hmm. I agree didn't what you watch cool. their TikToks I watched a couple of them but I you didn't were looking watch for the posing them. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. I didn't watch are, any of those. I watched a I couple watch of them, them, but I just like I couldn't get into it because it was just like, and here's my age, and here's my like cat. It's like okay, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a TikTok is, person. Is there branded TikTok? Uh, like, is TikTok is a sponsor of Big Brother Canada? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What on what world is this? If it, <laughs> that 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 uh, how why is TikTok? Paying Big Brother Canada money yeah. to advertise. Yeah, I agree. Well, it, what? Yeah, Big Brother it, it Canada should be it. paying TikTok. <laughs> they should be. They should pay TikTok. <laughs> there That's are so, so many sponsors. Like the Rugrats are sponsoring this season. Like if mm -hmm. you scroll all the way down to the bottom of are the damn serious? page, it's oh just like ev like just you, so many icons everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I mean, anything to keep this show on the air because we yeah. know that a few years back it was looking a little grim so whatever i'll take it i'll take I it i wonder i wonder if it's like um a non-monetary sponsor and it's just like yeah you could put us yeah. on your page but then like you do tiktok videos and like cool there we go mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be do yeah. a tiktok veto yes. and you do tiktok yes. videos and mutual partnership they, they might be paying tiktok to say can we say you're a sponsor 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like well, we pay you, you money. Can we you say that you're sponsoring the show? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and get some get some word out. For That's us. what I'm thinking. I mean, like I work on sponsorship agreements all the time, and that seems <laughs> maybe Plausible. what it is. <laughs> okay. All right. But Melissa, all the attention oh is I've on you. Just uh, I've been trying to like push it away. <laughs> this is uh this is really hard. It's always the first one for me is always hard because I feel like at least if I don't if I pick wrong, it's like, well, you the only person you have to blame is yourself. But if I am second or something, I can be like, well, you picked the good one. So mm -hmm. anyway, then enough stalling. Um, okay. I'm going to pick also, I don't know how to pronounce all their names, so I will learn it, but at this point, I think you pronounce your name Latoya. Okay. And that's what I'm picking. That's it. All right. All right. I I am picking Latoya first. I was super impressed with her video. Um, like I just felt like every single thing she was throwing at me, I was even more and more and more impressed until I was like, Are you serious? She's so accomplished. How has she done all this? I mean, she's like four years as a police officer, four years as a correctional officer, like She's uh, designed her own fashion line. She's also like walked the runway in like, uh, you know, New York Fashion Week. I was like, this is crazy. At first, when I read her bio, like before I saw her video, I was like, she's like, yeah, I'm a cop, but I'm going to say I'm a fashion designer. I was like, okay, well, you're going to have to know about fashion if you're going to like pose as a fashion designer. But she's a fashion designer as well. It's not a lie. It's crazy. I honestly, I was very impressed with her. She seems really intelligent. Um, she seems like she's ready to play. She's also like super into fitness um, and is very athletic. I just felt like she's all around really strong. I think my one concern is that like she needs to go into the house and come across really like unassuming. Otherwise, I just feel like she's going to come across as a huge threat. And I think that would be scary um, and I, I don't know if that, if that would go well for her, but I think that she's aware of that in that she's not going to say she's a cop. So maybe she'll be able to kind of like tone down all her accomplishments and how great she is and just kind of like run with that side mm -hmm. of her, like just like the friendly personable side. Um, you know, we'll have to see how it goes, but honestly, like on paper and on video, she looks really impressive. So, um, yeah, I'm picking her first. I'm just all going right. for it. I think this was a good pick. I think uh, Melissa did a good job yeah. here. <laughs> thank you yes i feel good <laughs> okay D is there derek upside here uh for latoya i was about to say that i mean i feel like that was like that was the big draw for me obviously i mean i think that derek it, like every time there's a cop on the show we're going to hear derek's name now right so like yeah i mean i think she seems like she is cool and calm i, I like the fact that not only is she really determined we like she backs up all the stuff that she's talked about doing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just like Melissa said, you know, going to New York Fashion Week. Uh, she said that she goes hard in the gym, and we see like the the weight loss journey that she's been through. Um, and she seems very mature. The one thing that I will say is that I'm a little worried that maybe she's just a little too mature for these people. Like, hmm. is she going to be a little like? I mean, she was a corrections officer. You going to try and correct everything, <laughs> officer? Like, am I going to get arrested here? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried just about that. But, I mean, if anything, it's better to be a little bit more reserved than Big Brother than it is to be crazy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely some Derek mm -hmm. upsides. So I, th I think it's a solid pick. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Taryn, you like it? I, I like it. She is, so she is one of the older house guests. And I say that understanding that she's 34. <laughs> she's 34. She's one of the older house guests. Um, and that is a pretty significant disadvantage almost all of the time. Um, however, she I, I think the things that she has going in her favor are that she uh, she is a very multifaceted person. And I think that uh, that can help her get along with younger people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, again, yeah. I understand that I'm saying older and younger and it and it's and it's dumb, but yeah, it's, it's uh, terrible. It makes I me also, feel awful. Yes. I <laughs> also think that um, that how fit she is, is going to be huge as well. One of the reasons why I think older house guests have more trouble in the game. Uh, one of them, at least, is uh, is the fact that they are much less likely to win challenges when there are so many physical challenges. She seems like a physical beast. If she's going to win some challenges, she can win some respect on her name, make social connections, and I think she can do uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like she'll be able to hang, though. Like, I feel like, I mean, if you're in... If you're in 
New York Fashion Week, like you don't just roll up mm-hmm. in NYC and you're a square. You know what I mean? So like, I feel like if anything, she should be able to find something to talk about with these youngins. I mean, I mean, because I mean, 34, yeah, it's really not old in the grand scheme of things. But in the Big Brother house, like if, when somebody's 24, like I know that for a fact. I mean, I'm past 24 now, but I know that 24 and 34 for me are going to be. Ooh, so we'll see. We'll see how she is. Yeah. I, I think that she's in a, a good spot to come in. And I think that she has like the ability to like really be like uh, undercover in the house where, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, that uh, I saw in the chat, somebody mentioned like summer of Steve, where I think that he was going to like not tell anybody that he was a police officer. And like, uh, and, like nobody was like, people were just going to like, like a summer of Steve, uh, like he's definitely a police officer. Like, I think that she has a, a good story to sell. And I think that she's going to have like observations that she's going to be able to make and as long as she can get along with people in the house and like have like a like a good social game like uh i think that she's like a real threat Mm -hmm. definitely yeah all right so i mostly had her at number two on my board well all right okay good i feel like usually my first pick everyone yeah i'm used to melissa like going like memphis or something off the (laughs) the top but then he turned out to be better than we expected yeah Yeah, he did did go far okay all right (laughs) so all right, with Latoya off the board, we turn to Amon. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, oh God, I have been like, my list has just been like cycling, cycling, cycling. All right. I am going to go ahead and draft Tyshawn. Oh. <laughs> He is, okay, I wasn't really too high on him in the beginning. And then I was having a a couple conversations today. And I've since been turned around on him. I, what I like about Tyshawn is, obviously he's a good looking guy. But I like the fact that he has been raised by women. Mm -hmm. I think that that's really going to give him a bit of an advantage. The one thing that I worry about is that is he going to, because Taryn was just talking about how if we get teams, there's a possibility that he, you know, if he's team captain or if he's not team captain, one of the other team captains is going to try and want to draft him real quick. Is he going to get caught up in like the broiness of it all? I do worry about that. But something about him in his intro video being surrounded by his mom and his two grandmothers, like to me, that, that speaks to someone who is a little older, has a little bit more maturity. He's 29. So he's not exactly like a 21 year old who's just coming out here fresh. I like the fact that he's an urban planner. I feel mm-hmm. like there's a little bit of, you know, cerebralness that he'll, ha- that he'll have to him. He, um, I-, I feel like he's just really calm, cool, and collected and seems to be getting into the point of his life where he's like knowing what he wants to do and knows who he is. So I feel like he could be a pretty strong contender. I mean, in the fact that he is, you know, good looking and physical, I mean, that always works well for people in Big Brother Canada. So and I mean, he's just really, really sweet too. So I, I feel like if you're likable and people don't want to get rid of you, I feel like, I feel like he has a girly, a really good shot, if not winning, of going pretty far. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and snatch Tyshawn. Wow, oh, boy, uh, Amon, this was my number one pick. That my, oh, uh, wow. my, I, I, that <laughs> wow. totally, no that nice. Melissa and Amon totally sniped me in this draft. Maybe uh, yeah. you made a mistake picking us. I, first. I totally did. I, I mean, who knows yeah. how it did. smells like, uh, you know, he could be in the showman's on day one. And then uh, I you know, know, I know that, and uh, I was, that that was my main drawback in the beginning. Who knows? I, I, yeah. Yeah. I feel like well, I, I feel like I, I, I feel good about him. I do. Yeah. But he's uh, he's athletic. And I love that he's a planner. Like you have to think to be an exactly. urban planner and have strategy. And, he, and like you have to have a vision for what the city is going to be like <laughs> if you're going to be an urban planner. And that's like exactly. what you want to do in Big Brother. And he said that yeah. he wanted like specifically on his on his bio, he said that he wanted to create a co-ed alliance. I like the fact that he was specific about saying co-ed. I don't want to mm-hmm. like get bro down. Mm-hmm. I am a ladies man, but I'm not trying to, you know, just be a flirt the entire thing. Like he wants to be multifaceted. And that to me, like that speaks volumes to me. So I, f- I feel good about Tashawn. I'm with Tashawn this, this season. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I liked his video a lot. I thought he did a really good job with his video. He made, he was really charming. Um, I thought he really came across as a nice guy. I liked, you know, the relationship with his grandmas. And um, uh, I, my one concern when watching the video was like, does he have the mindset for the game? Like, I can see that he's smart. I can see that he's a nice guy. I can see that he's, you know, very sociable. But like, does he have that like gaming mindset? However, then like he did pick villain 
Um, you know, and I do think that like says something. I feel like if someone doesn't really know the game, doesn't really care about playing the game, they probably pick hero just because it's like, you know, obvi an yeah. obvious answer. And you wouldn't yeah. pick villain unless you were like, no, I want to go in there and play. So um, I was impressed with that. I mean, plus he's like super athletic. Um, does he, the one question I have is like, does he actually know Big Brother Canada? I feel like with a lot of these intro hmm. videos and a lot of these um, like, uh, like intro packets or whatever, like, I couldn't tell who actually knew the game and who had actually like seen the show or was familiar with it. I feel like there was only a few that I recognized as like, Oh, they know the game. And it's only because they would like specifically call out past players. Like I feel like it was uh Beth and Austin and um, Jedson knew, said yeah. he knew the game. Um, mm -hmm. Victoria says she knows it, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, it could just be like someone saying, I know the game and really they've never seen it. So that yeah. those were the only ones I noticed as yeah. people who said like, I love the show. I know the game. So like, I don't know if they just weren't saying it and it was just supposed to be implied, but like, I do think that that, that matters. Like, you know, obviously you can still be a good player and have no idea what big brother Canada is, but like it probably would help at least in the beginning. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, do it's, for me, it's the number one factor. Yeah, do we game. know if uh, there are, are a lot of recruits this season? Because if, if we're getting recruits, like where do we recruit people from? I feel like that, uh, that you know, we have a, a world in lockdown that normally you get recruits of like, you know, going to bars and, and stuff like that. Are they just like going through Instagram, like looking for people? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, TikTok, Wild. you know. TikTok. <laughs> They, were out, they, they asked a lot TikTok. of the alumni too to like you know reach out to people and get people interested mm -hmm. and refer people so they cast a wide net so i mean i don't know i mean I, I think i agree with you though melissa i think that if anything i think taishan is probably a little bit more in tune with the game than not because of the fact that he did choose villain because of the fact that he said he wanted a co-ed alliance i just think it's something that he actually has put put time and energy mm -hmm. and thought into so I'm, I'm hoping that he's definitely more on that side of the spectrum yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Taryn, you like the pick? I like, I do like the pick. Uh, he was definitely high on, uh, on my board here. Um, I, I, I would echo, I I'm, I'm worried about whether he knows the game or not. Uh, I think that he mentioned like, uh, Oh, I have social, physical and mental abilities. Um, so I think he's at least done a little bit of homework to know that those are kind of like three of the <laughs> things that you talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but nothing too specific beyond that. He seems very, uh, charming and I think he will be good in the house. Um, but I just don't know if there's a killer instinct here. I don't know if he's going to be actively playing hard enough, uh, to, uh, to really do well. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay. All right. I made a late change to my uh, pick here with my, <laughs> my, my number my number three pick. I'm panicking. I'm on, I'm on tilt. I'm on tilt. <laughs> Melissa and Amon got me. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna switch things up. Okay. Taryn gets back to back picks after me, but uh, with uh, the number three pick, I am gonna go with Rohan. Ooh. Yes, wow. Rohan. That yeah. uh, he's excited. He wants to come in and he wants to play the villain. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna win, uh, but I'm I, I am very excited to watch him try. Uh, he <laughs> he did seem to come in and be the one person who seemed like they wanted to try to own that spot of being sort of like the strategic mastermind. He works yep. in strategic partnerships. Um, seems like he would be uh, an athletic guy. Uh, wants to come in and be like a mover and a shaker in the game. He's got uh, some great plaid shirts, which I really <laughs> admire as well. And I think that he seems to uh, relish being able to come in and play the game. And, you know, I don't know if like, he gave a ton away that he knows the show, but I kind of feel like that uh, if you're coming in with this attitude, you probably know the show. I, I, it's possible. I feel like this is the attitude of a, of a person who knows about the show, who's mm -hmm. maybe watched a little bit of it and likes the concept of it, but doesn't necessarily know the details. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We, we'll see. I could see it. I think he's going to be really fun to watch. I agree with that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. think I think he'll be fun to watch as well. I was on, I wanted, I was thinking about picking him first as well, Rob, but then I switched, um, before we started recording 
And I just, the thing for me is like, oh, he just scares me because I just feel like he's not as like, he's smarmy. He's not, yeah. I don't think he's like as- uh, High variance like, pick. Yeah, deceptive as he thinks that he may be. It may work. You never know. This might be a dumbass cast. You might be able to pull one over yeah. on all these people, but- Could I be the first food. Could be Canadian Dr. Will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I feel Could like I, I liked what he was- giving us like I, I thought that it was like a fun character and you know I always like to see people want to be like the villain as long as it's a fun villain and not just mm -hmm. like an actual villain um however I was a little concerned when he said that he wants to call the shots in the first half of the game I feel like everybody who comes in like guns blazing like I'm in charge here this is what we're gonna do and th they always you know go down in a ball of flames because people don't want to be told what to do coming into the house because everyone has their own idea of how they want to play or whatever. And if someone, you know, kind of, you always want to start, start slow at first. And if he just comes in guns blazing, I feel like that might be a problem for other people and he might come across yeah. in a bad way. I don't know. I did like that. He really likes the killers or at least they're his uh, go-to karaoke songs. So, you know, I, I do like that. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I was a little worried that he comes across as, overly confident it's totally possible that it's just like his intro video and everyone wants to have like that fun character yeah. or, like you know put themselves out there in a certain way in that video but if he comes across that way in the house i feel like he could have a little bit of an issue yeah. the fact that he was like i want to i want this person to go after that person based off of the things that i said i was like oh so you're really trying to start a pot like you're just mm -hmm. trying to be everywhere. So like that part, that excites me. It really excites me. So yeah. I, I want to see him do it, but oh, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm worried that he's just going to get caught. <laughs> so. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to watch Rohan. I, I think that um, they, this is the kind of player that I'm always looking at. I want at least one of these in the house. Mm -hmm. There's somebody that's going to go in and really want to play hard and be that mastermind manipulator. Um, and most of the time they are going to crash and burn while somebody no a little more low key is the no real doubt. mastermind yeah. manipulator. But they're always gonna be fun to watch in the process. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, look, the, the round one, I'll do one for me. Round two, I'll, I'll get the winner. Okay. I mean, Rob, <laughs> you won the last two drafts. Like we can yeah. all be wrong, so. <laughs> yeah. All right, Taryn, you are up with the first of two in a row yeah oh boy. um this, this is tough too because uh you guys didn't steal any from me oh <laughs> okay. whoa um first first pick off the board uh i am going to take julie 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 is Damn going it. to be my pick. Uh, i didn't think you would take her oh <laughs> julie julie was my number one um i gotta take julie she uh, she does know the show to some degree from what I from what I understand. Um, she has been applying, I think, for a couple of years. Six times. Um, yes, she seems to have had uh, experience. Um, she I think she knows some uh, alumni. Um, so, you know, I, she has a very successful YouTube channel, which tells me that she, you know, it knows how to put work into these things um, and knows how to, you know, uh, coordinate and um, and, mm -hmm. and network with other other kinds of all different kinds of people. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I checked out some of her videos. They're very good. I think she's very personable. I think that she has a lot of capability to come in here and do very well. Um, I think that uh, the the downside, the fear is that she may stand out too much. Um, she might be too, uh, too good. She might be the she, I think she's going to, uh, you know, be chosen as a captain. And I think that right away a spotlight will be on her and she's going to have to use that well. I think she'll she'll probably be in a position of power right away. If she uses it well, I think she can uh, she can do well. And uh, and we'll see. I feel like I need yeah. to watch her YouTube videos because like I didn't didn't do that. I just watched the intro video and read her like uh, intro packet. And I. I like I liked her. I just didn't get the vibe that she like really knew the game or like really was like in it. I, I don't know. Like I wasn't super impressed by her video, but I feel like I didn't get to know her very well in it. I thought she was really she came across as really intelligent, very sociable. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt like, you know, she I, I just 
I wasn't sure if she would stand out too much or get along with people. It seemed like she's very like she's got like a very distinct personality. And so I was like a little worried that she might not mesh with people. Um, But, you know, I hope I'm wrong. And I would like to go check out her YouTube videos because um, I did like how she said that she would backstab her alliance. So uh, I always look for that because I feel like that's way more interesting than, uh, you know, just to go along to get along. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't have a strong opinion on her. I feel like I didn't get enough from her video. I feel like I got a lot of her like backstory, um, mm-hmm. which I liked, but I felt like I didn't get enough of like how she was going to play the game once in the house. So, Tart, how do you know that Julie knows uh, uh, p- uh, past house guests? Did the past house guests come out and say that we know Julie? I do not know for sure. I have heard, and I saw somebody in the chat say this again, that people are saying that she knows Suzette. Um, yeah, there's I, pictures of them together. She, yeah, she was she was somebody who Twitter had found out about ahead of time mm-hmm. um, before the cast was dropped. And at that time, people were saying that she uh, was followed already by some players, uh, some former players. So it would not surprise me if uh, she's, you know, had even more contact than just Suzette. I don't I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. But she seems to have some level of involvement uh, with with alumni, with the show in the past. And that. Again, that tells me that she she's at least familiar. And I think that, uh, you know, when I barely know anything else about anyone else, I think that's mm-hmm. a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah. Do you know, has there been any tracking polls of uh, who are people voting for for the coaches? Um, I have not really seen much. I uh, I would like to to get one of myself. It's it's hard to do like Twitter polls when there's this many options. But yes, uh, but she has over five hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, wow. uh, I don't think she's like the most recognizable person in the world. But uh, I've I, like when I've seen her talked about, there's usually a couple people who are like, oh, I kn- I knew of her even before this. Um, so I think that she is is probably somebody who is going to get uh the vote here for uh for captain okay all right yeah you're saying all of the things that i was uh, thinking about when drafting her to taryn like oh she's she is i mean she knows why she's been cast right she is pretty much the epitome of diversity right now an asian trans woman ending up on this show is just amazing and i'm really glad that someone like her is going to be able to sit there and tell her story with that being said is that going to come with having a big ass spotlight and not really knowing exactly what to do with all that attention she is a social media influencer but sometimes social media influencers all they really know how to do is use social media and they're not necessarily social people like you're either the meme or you're the meme queen and i'm just afraid Mm. that maybe she might just be the meme and not the meme queen so i'm more i was more hopeful than not that she will go in there and know what to do especially if like she knows alumni probably like you said and she's auditioned for this six times so she's been trying and she she knows the show so Mm -hmm. that 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 excites me and i am pissed that you took her but you know it it is what it is all right it it does Uh, give me comfort that she's applied six times i feel like that shows dedication it's not just like because a lot of the times you know you get an influencer and they end up on the show and they're like yeah i I wanted to get on the show because i wanted to like up my following or whatever but if if she's applying six times to the same show i mean there are other shows out there that you know could Mm -hmm. give her followers if that's what she was looking for but i feel like Mm -hmm. if you apply the same show six times it means you want to be on that show so that's good Okay, Uh, we do have some breaking news at this hour uh, that we're going to announce in between Taryn's two picks. So let's... uh, Breaking news are happening now. Uh, So Big Brother Canada official account has gone to uh, Twitter uh, to say, uh, today, Global TV and Insight Productions were made aware of some significant concerns regarding an individual who has been uh, announced as part of the Season 9 cast of Big Brother Canada. We take this information uh, seriously and acknowledge the impact these concerns raise for both production and those involved. Uh, While much of what has been brought to our attention remains unproven, we cannot proceed with casting this person and this individual will be replaced ahead of the season premiere. So uh, it is official. Ethan out. An alternate will be in. Yeah. 
Somebody yes. is in their hotel room going up right now. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I love it. it was so easy. This was it. so easy, Big Brother Canada. So easy. Yeah. So seamless. Yeah. It sets such a great example. Like if this were to happen down here, like now you have a perfect northern blueprint to look up to. Like, <laughs> yes. Growth, people. Growth. So easy. So easy. Mm -hmm. but like, yeah. oh, okay. All right. Up. Uh, didn't. Uh, uh, our bad should have should have caught this one. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's go. So interesting. I, I, Rob, you say, you know what to do, Big Brother Canada, and boom, it gets done. We got took care of it. The we influence, the power. Easy, easy. <laughs> the I remember power. the last time you said that, you were like, hey, Big Brother Canada, come back for season six, and then they yeah. did it. Yeah, <laughs> done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> easy. All right. Now, and, you know, uh, in all seriousness, uh, great job, Big Brother Canada. Again, people are so excited about everything that you're doing right now. Big brother Canada. This was, yes. uh, this was an easy one. Just maybe float the name out before you, uh, officially <laughs> like put the person on the website. Twitter will do all the work and then yeah, Twitter boom. will handle. Okay. So no, so no Ethan. Oh, in there yep. he goes. I was, I was reloading the cast page <laughs> waiting to see when he got removed. Oh, he's gone. gone. Oh, he's Already gone. He's, he's gone. He's gone. The, oh my the God. picture is Yo, gone. Yeah, I'm, now I'll be reloading to see if a new one pops up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You know when they're going to release the next person. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I want to know. Damn. First of all. Taryn. All right. So a lot of excitement in between, in between picks. All right. Yes. Taryn, you have Julie on the team. Where else are you going? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm torn between a few different options, but I think I'm going to go with Jed. 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 Yes. Um, ah, okay. oh, man. So, uh, Jed is somebody who, uh, who clearly knows the show, um, and is very physically fit. He seems like your typical sort of like alpha kind of character but very knowledgeable about the show um i'm very excited about some of the things that he wrote in his bio about uh like strategies going into the house um mm -hmm. he wants to appear to struggle in mental comps in the early game um he wants to uh you know focus on a social game he wants to win when necessary but not when not necessary uh all of this tells me that he not only knows the show, but like understands at least, uh, you know, some amount of the strategy of the show. And that's that excites me, especially in somebody who clearly is very naturally fit to uh, to play the game. Well, um, my only concern with Jed, uh, especially in comparison to, you know, some of the other uh, players who are also like young and fit and handsome um, is that uh, he may. He may be, a, like I said, he may be a little bit too alpha. I'm not sure. Um, you know where, well, where, where, right? Where Tashawn is like, I'm not sure he has the killer instinct. Jed, I'm like, he may have too much of a killer instinct. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely excited to see uh, what Jed does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Taryn, he mentions uh, in his uh, six point plan, explore a low key showmance if the opportunity presents itself. That reads to me as I am definitely getting in a showmance. <laughs> That yes, that means he will be flirting. But on Big Brother Canada, the showmances don't—they uh, don't seem exactly. to hurt you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe it's a, a yeah. positive. Well, Taryn, I'm mad that you picked him because I did really like him a lot, and I was interested yeah. in picking him. Um, he's—I felt like he was athletic. He was charming. He uh, is—I felt like he had a good strategy. He seemed intelligent. Um, yeah, I was really impressed with his bio. Um, the written one. I thought the video was cute, and I, you know, I liked when he tripped over the gym. gym the video did nothing it, for me. I was, but it I did, was yeah, exactly. The video, on yeah. the video wasn't. Yeah, exactly. The video was fine, but I did really like his bio, and I felt like he really knew the game, um, or at least he came across as though he really knew the game, and it seemed like he already had thought about the kind of strategy he wanted to take going in, and I, I really did appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I, I think he'll do what well. I mean. It, I guess it just depends, you know, how, how the rest of the house reacts to him. But overall, I, I think he's a great pick. Okay. Amon, any thoughts here on uh, Jed? Yeah, he wasn't really my favorite. I mean, <laughs> he's obviously good looking. Like, I mean, I'd be trying to show Manson if I were in the house. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I just, I, I felt like maybe it was a bit, 
like, I, I think what I really liked about Tyshawn, I felt like uh, Jetson didn't really have as much of that. I want, I, I worry about like the charm factor. Is it really, really well? I feel like does he, I don't know. I just kind of worry if he's going to be able to be low key because he wants to keep his education a secret. He wants to get into an undercover alliance with four or five people. Um, he wants to appear to struggle in mental competitions early on, but he is also uber competitive. He completed two degrees. He's athletic, intelligent. And, like I just feel like he's just going to be too much of like I need to I need to beat I need to beat this everybody in this competition. I need to be a mm -hmm. compies that he's not going to be able to hold all of that back. And mm -hmm. when things don't go his way, I wonder if he's going to be the type to sort of like blow his top, or if he's going to be able to keep keep cool, calm, and collected. So I think he's definitely one to like, he's going to be a player. I just, I worry if he'll be able to contain it and channel it well though. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully with you. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like he's either going to be, I feel like the alpha males can, uh, they often go one way or the other. It's like either yeah. you are, you know, the, the one that crashes and burns, uh, you know, yeah. maybe a few weeks in, maybe halfway in, or you're the Cody that, that you know, just, just runs it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. We will see uh, where what happens with Jet. Okay. So it comes back to me with pick number six, and I'm gonna go uh, with a person here that uh, I like a lot. Uh, let's see how they do. But I'm gonna be keeping it real, and I'm gonna go <laughs> with <that>. Kiefer. <laughs> yes. Here is Kiefer. I thought Kiefer was a lot of fun. And I think that mm -hmm. Kiefer has a chance to be a breakout character mm -hmm. in the season. Uh, that he is a big personality. Look, uh, I don't know how Kiefer is going to hold up in the in the challenges, but I also feel like that's a good reason that people are not going to be targeting him. I think that he is going to be a lovable presence around the house. He had uh, one of the most fun videos out of anybody. And I think that, you know, he's going to be a, a, a fun person. Like everybody's been locked down. You get in the house with Kiefer. It's party time. <laughs> yeah. He's on the radio. He talks to people. I, yeah. I think the Kiefer is my pick for the other captain. If I, if I'm guessing who the captains are going to be, who are the, who are the fans going to vote for? Um, I'm my guess. My guesses are Julie and Kiefer. Um, I think that Kiefer was very charming in his uh, in his video. Um, I think that there's definitely a lot there. Um, he is he does he has a family. He has uh, like he's a family guy, um, and he is he's 32. That can kind of set him apart in terms of like there's a lot of like early 20s to late 20s single people who don't have families who you know. That's there's going to be a little bit of a gap there. Um, How many people in the cast have kids? Just two? I think just two. two yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Interesting. So I do expect him to get along with uh, with Tara, um, who uh, is the. Yeah, I was uh, wondering about that because she's trying to be the first parent to ever win. So I'm like, how long right. is she going to let him stay there? <laughs> <laughs> parents, hold him out. parents generally tend to get along, especially like they are both you know over thirty on the cast. Um, mm, but, yeah. uh, but not necessarily, I, I, you know, Kiefer also seems very fun. I really could see Kiefer fitting in with, uh, with a lot of the cast. It's, you know, it's just a matter yeah. of like f fitting in does not always mean strategically fitting in. Um, mm -hmm. and so that could be, uh, an issue for him, but if he starts as a captain and he plays it well, then, uh, then we could see something interesting. Okay. Well, yeah. so any thoughts on Kiefer? Yeah. I mean, I thought that he was... You know, really, I think he's going to be really entertaining. And I think that he's going to be really social. I mean, clearly, he's a social guy. You know, he's a radio host. He's got, like, a family. Clearly, he's, like, he's funny and charming, according to his video. I mean, I could even see it. Um, the only thing that I'm concerned about is I don't know if he has that, like, gamer instinct. I don't know, you know, how intelligent he is. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he just, like, purposefully comes across as, like, a super goofy guy. But really, like, he's actually, like, you know hiding how smart he is. I don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he plays in the right. house. But well, so you can't um, work in radio unless you're really smart. I, you know, I guess that's true. That's that's the truth. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm interested to see how it goes. I, I wonder if he's just going to be like the comic relief, like the fun guy that people want to keep around, but really like is kind of just like dragged along. I don't know. 
Um, I hope that's not the case, but it's it really could go either way, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah. Doom Turkey in the chat says Kiefer comes off like a block star to me. Is that possible? Is that a, is that an outcome for Kiefer? I could see it. It could be. You know, he's a nice I, guy. Just put him on the block. Uh, the house. He will won't keep care. Him. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah. say something that I noticed is that uh, in his video, there was a whole segment about how much trouble he was having, like with the camera setup. Um, <laughs> and I was like, this is not this is not uh, speaking well to his competition abilities that he uh, he doesn't have these <laughs> like. Uh, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. Uh, Kiefer Collison. OK. All right. So uh, he's coming in with a with a hashtag already that he's uh, keeping it real. All right. <laughs> so now we come back to Amon. Amon already has a uh, 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 Tayshawn. And now we'll go with pick number two. Oh, my God. I'm so upset because I feel like my other pick is going to get taken from me. But I don't want to pass up the opportunity to get this person. <sighs> I'm just going to try to do some Jedi mind tricks and hopefully you guys don't take my last person. Um, I'm going to go ahead with Miss Beth Bita. Okay. <laughs> she, she was one of the first videos that I saw and instantly I had a smile come across my face. She's really bubbly. She's really quirky. She seems like a lot of fun. I think that she's a very likable person. Like I said, likable people usually do well on Big Brother Canada. Um, but the thing that I liked what she said in her bio was that she wants to find a ride or die in the beginning and then pull a Tyler from Big Brother US. Look, if there's any Tyler fans out there that like the way that he plays the game and want to try and emulate that, I want to see you try. I want to see how you tr how you try to implement that style of game. I think it's a pretty successful way to play, like finding your one ride or die and then laying alone in the beginning. It works every time. So I, I think that she is sort of unassuming. Uh, I, I feel like the fact that she is just always has a smile on her face and she tries to be the funniest person in the room. I think that that always, that 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 speaks well to me. Um, I do worry about the killer instinct because she does say that she wants to stick to her alliance and she doesn't want to have to backstab anybody. But I mean, Tyler also tried to do that too. He just tried to do it, you know, he stick a knife in your back without you really knowing that he was doing it. So if she can try and master that, I feel good that maybe Beth could do well here. So I'm, I'm rolling with Beth. Okay. All right. Yeah. Melissa, any, any thoughts on Beth? Yeah. I mean, I like Beth a lot. She's uh, up near the top of my list. Um, I, I, sh I loved her bio, how she like name checked house guests. That's always, that always impresses me. It like always gets me. Um, even though it, Probably shouldn't, but I'm always impressed when someone knows the game. Um, I like that she like will probably come across as like the sweet girl next door, but really is secretly a threat. I like that. Um, I think I also she she said she likes Fleetwood Mac, or at least I think she said that was like a karaoke song, and I love Fleetwood Mac, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm a little worried uh, that maybe like her personality is a little too like bubbly country girl next door and maybe it won't yeah. mesh with some of the people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also possible that she's just going to be bubbly country girl next door and everyone's going to love it. So mm -hmm. I really don't know, but I do, I do think she's intelligent. I do think that she uh, could be a threat in this game. So I, I think she's a good pick. Okay. Tara. Yeah. Uh, I mean, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Beth. Every time I hear her name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think Go of Wyoming. On. Mm -hmm. I just my my mind goes to Wyoming mm -hmm. and when she was like I'm such a Beth I was like I'm I feel like you're insulting yourself what has happened to me what has big brother done to me that this name feels like an insult <laughs> um but uh I I actually I liked I liked Beth I I did uh Beth was definitely on my radar um, she was somebody who clearly knows the show. That's obviously huge. She's 27. That's the, the right age range there. I mean, just uh, look at that smile. Can she, you, can she, you put she, that back up again, Rob? Look at that. That's a yeah. Disney princess right there. Look at that. She mm. looks so she looks so cute. I love it. She she really is. She's she seems very charming, very sweet. Uh, I think like who's not gonna get along with with Beth? Um, you know, I I, I, I don't know. <laughs> nobody nobody okay. except for when she pisses people off but uh i i think that she definitely has potential 
Um, and the, and again, the fact that she knows the the show, I think, is going to be huge. Um, yeah, and, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see where it where it goes. Yeah, she didn't really do too much for me. I like the fact that she was a social worker. Uh, I do wonder if she's mm-hmm. like more of like a a country person that might not be like able to like adapt as much if it's a really like raucous house. But that yeah. should probably be fine. Yeah, I, 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 that, that is the main drawback for me. It's like, I'm worried, like, will you be able to, like, step up to the plate if you need to? But, you know, maybe with time, if she allows herself to warm up, I, I think if she can make it to the end game, I'm really interested to see how she could how she could pull this out. So I'm rooting okay. for her. I like her. All right. Uh, on a night of a lot of uh, breaking news, Taryn, do we have a, a replacement yet? I've been I I saw some people in the chat yeah. saying that we did. We I've do. been trying to refresh yeah. the page. I don't. Okay, so well, here let's let's, well, let's go. Let's do some breaking news. <laughs> I've been trying to find a link, but I haven't been able to see it. I you know I, uh, I never want to get uh a uh, hoax, but have, you know enough people was, in the chat are talking about it. Uh, but apparently that uh, the yeah, new yeah. person replacing Ethan in the cast uh will be somebody named Kyle. Uh, and so um, uh Amon, we have a picture. Like we, yeah. We have a tweet uh, again, again, like, uh, you know, sometimes these things uh, can, can be off, but uh, Kyle. OK, uh, that that is the uh, the guy's name. Uh, there he is. Kyle. Yep. There he is. OK, so yep. um, here, I'll, I'll, let me I'll, I'll bring him up and uh, we don't know anything about Kyle except that uh, he is a person. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all we know. I hope they at least like you know went through his stuff as well. Yeah, so they're doing sure. that as we speak. Uh, maybe, it might, might be premature. Uh, right. This is uh, supposedly, supposedly uh, the new Big Brother Canada Nine sensation, Kyle. If you want to vote for Kyle for one of the co- coaches, <laughs> Kyle <laughs> to come in, he is available to draft if you choose. Okay. All right. So, um. Let's go to Melissa. Melissa with the second pick. All right. Um, all right. I am going to pick Austin. Austin. I, I like her a lot. Um, I think that she's intelligent. Uh, she knows the show. I mean, in the bio, she said early she in the bio, she said she loves the show. So I'm assuming that means she knows the show. Um, and I felt like she, uh, you know, I think she'll play intelligently. I think she'll be under the radar. I think that um, she'll probably get in a showmance because um, she talks about never having a boyfriend and how she's like thinking about guys or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> that would probably be good for her. I could see that being, um, you know, a good situation. I'm looking forward to see how she plays. But yeah, I, I was impressed by her. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it, how she goes. Okay. That's that. Here's Austin, uh, that she is a realtor slash model. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. 23 year old. Yes. Austin, Austin and Beth were the, were the other people I were, I was really, uh, looking at, uh, in terms mm-hmm. of picks, uh, similar reasons. Uh, Austin seems very charming. She seems to know the show. Um, I think there's a, a lot of upside here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's, um, she looks really, really sweet. I feel like, I mean, she, she says that she doesn't really, I mean, that she's never really had a boyfriend or anything. Her dad was really strict. So what that says to me is that um, even if there are guys in the house that are going to try and, you know, work her over, I feel like she has demonstrated a sense of, like, control in her life. So I'm, I'm thinking, if anything, I'm hoping that the guys will bend to her favor and not the other way around. So, yeah, mm-hmm. she she seems really, she seems that she could be a dark horse. Mm-hmm. I just wanted, I want like a little bit more cut to energy from her. And maybe, maybe we just, maybe the, the house just needs to mold it out of her first. Um, mm-hmm. But I think that that's definitely a possibility. So I think, I think yeah. Austin's a good pick too. So she, she might win the award for uh, getting the feeds cut the most with the. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she tells us about her biggest fear is icebergs. Now, maybe. <laughs> More common in Canada than here in the uh, United States. <laughs> but is she sailing around on a lot of cruise liners? Where are the uh, where is she running into icebergs? Rob, have you never seen Titanic? I know, but was she that is she's was she not on a, she's not a model slash uh, crewmate on a ship? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird to me. I mean, I feel like it's, I assume that all Canadians just go to bed with snow and ice. Like <laughs> you like would think that they would there. be uh, comfortable with it. Right. <laughs> so, 
I don't know. Um, uh, her prize possession is are her crystals. I don't know if she's bringing them into the house. Well, okay, hold on, Rob. Maybe she's worried about icebergs melting. Icebergs melting. Yeah, yeah that, that's that true. Is that is a problem, world. Rob. Yeah. Mm. Sure. That's a problem. Mm. Sure. Mm. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. People are saying it's a metaphorical fear, like icebergs mm. melting. But when you say glaciers, are you worried about yeah. icebergs melting? I feel like it's more <laughs> glaciers <laughs> melting would be more of a thing than an iceberg <laughs> melting. I don't know. That's that. Yeah. Uh, that that's me. Um, Maybe she watched one of those videos. Uh, have you ever seen those videos of like people in ships and watching like the glaciers just crash and then a big wave comes at you? Yeah, that's not <laughs> that's pretty scary. That's that is scary. That is or scary. she's meaning like iceberg, like people who are icebergs. Like we only see like the little bit of them at the top, but really they're so deep. Like you know, it's like that's scary. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know what yeah, what they're hiding. Like she's, yeah, she's wearing like this black top against a black uh, backdrop, and you really only see like her shoulders. Uh, yeah, like you only like, see like the, the little bit of, of her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So that is her, that's her fear. Um. So Melissa, you actually have back-to-back -back picks here. Oh, right. I do. <laughs> okay. I I'm gonna pick. Let me make sure I'm picking the right person. I'm gonna pick Josh. Okay. Let's I felt go. like this might be a weird one, but I figure this is my last pick, so I kind of want to just like go for it. Um. Josh is was really intriguing to me. I felt like his video was really interesting. I feel like he's a kind of personality that you don't normally see yeah. um, on Big Brother. So I kind of was like interested. Um, I felt like uh, I was a little concerned um, when he said that he's never lived with people and is an only child and he's only ever lived with his parents. So I feel like that's a little bit concerning because like he might not get along well with people. Um also, I thought it was interesting that his biggest pet peeve is eating and walking, like with a fork and a plate while pacing. Very specific. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, good pet peeve, I guess. Um, but I did see like a, a comment from a friend on the YouTube video where he was like, he's a friend of mine and he's super laid back. So I, I thought that was interesting because like I wasn't sure if he could either go either way where he's like really like crazy and everyone's like, what the heck? Or he's just this laid back guy who people are interested yeah. in and he like kind of gives interesting comments. I don't know. Um, and so that made me lean more towards the second option. I feel like uh, he might really, I could see him really clicking with certain people in the house on the cast. And so, you know, I just figure I'm interested in him. And so I want to be able to root for him. So yeah. I'm drafting him. Amon, what did you think of Josh's video? I loved it. I loved it. This was the person that I was afraid that Melissa might take. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. <laughs> Yeah, you so, tried yeah. to Jedi mind trick me and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I I I really liked Josh. A, a lot of people were giving him a lot of crap for um for liking Elon Musk. And I just I I when he made that comment to me, I thought that he was just speaking more about like the stuff that Elon Musk has been involved in, i.e. the theories about multiple universes, parallel universes, all that stuff. Yeah. You know, the, is all the biotechnology, is it a simulation, the biotechnology, microchips, yeah. all that stuff. And, and that's the kind of stuff that I love talking about. Yeah. In fairness, <laughs> uh, Taryn, uh, I believe that you and Mike Bloom had to finish Big Brother Canada 8 in a simulation. So I don't know if he's totally <laughs> off base. It's true. Maybe he's maybe he he stemmed from that sim stimulation, si stimulation, stimulation. Um, oh, wow. And, ooh, uh, I will say I will say this to uh, look. It, our simulations are always stimulating, um, oh, but uh, yeah, I I kind of get it. I I also hate eating and walking at the same time. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a classic pet peeve, really. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing about Josh. Um, when I started watching Josh's video, I was like, I feel like I know this guy. Like, where do I know this guy from? Um, and then he said he worked in like film production. I was like, oh, he is every film major that I had yes. <laughs> in college. Um, True. Uh, he does have a bit of an esoteric air to him. That's yes. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how well that will work in the Big Brother Canada house. Um, I think that it's very possible that this this guy is very chill and uh, and mm -hmm. and that's and that's cool. But I don't know that he's going to be socially active enough. Um, I'm definitely concerned that uh, you know that he's never lived with anyone besides uh, his parents, and I'm even more concerned that he thinks that that would surprise people. 
uh, because <laughs> I <laughs> doesn't. Um, uh, the good thing is that he likes being made fun of. So uh, I, my conscience is clean. Yes. Um, but, uh, Karen's yeah. like it's a free for all. <laughs> yeah, um, I I think that he is probably a smart guy. I just don't know if he has the social uh, yeah. social thing down. And I I think this is a house full of very social people. Um, and and I'm not sure how that's going to work for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like he. I hope he doesn't try to come across as a smart guy. I feel like that's where you have problems. He, is like you can be smart. Me, he but strikes like, me as the kind of person that wants to come off as a smart guy. Right. Mm -hmm. I, that's I mean, what I'm concerned about. It could just be like yeah. the video. I mean, you're supposed to like make yourself out to be this character and talk about yourself and blah blah blah. Like maybe he's totally not like that in the house, but it it could go either way. But that's why he's my third pick and not my uh, you know, not my first. So. Yeah, it it was a risky a risky pick. Look, I we're was in like, the I don't third know. round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No bad picks but, uh, in the third the round. The fact also that we're still there are still people in here that we're like interested in and Viable want to pick, pick is a very mm -hmm. good sign. I feel yeah. like a lot of the most recent seasons we've kind of just been like, um, I guess this person as we got into like the second picks. So this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good sign. Just to me, like I, I feel like that Big Brother is an extroverts game, and he seems like very introverted. I don't know how he's gonna handle sort of being like in these big group settings in the house and like fitting in mm -hmm. with like a big like uh like uh, you know big rowdy group. Yeah, I, I honestly I think that he could be a, a candidate for first boot. I, I think that he is uh in that in that range. And that doesn't mean like he could absolutely surprise us. He could be better than we think. But if I'm yeah. looking at like who could very easily not fit in right away yeah. and stand out, Josh is one of the people. Uh, I agree with that. I, I feel like that he's sort of like a, like in like maybe the, the Ian Terry mold of like that he could be the person that nobody gets along with. But if he gets his feet under him, like mm -hmm. he could be somebody who's like uh, runs the season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think see I don't think that he I'm a little higher on him than I think you guys are I think I don't think that he'll necessarily be um like uh the most likely to be a pariah or anything I think that he's just like Terrence I think he's just a film major and he had fun with that video like I mm -hmm. think that's what it was and I yeah, think that when he gets into that house he is going to I think that he'll have an easier time getting along with people I do yeah, um, I could I, already I, see him connecting with certain people, at least in my head. I was like trying yeah. to pair people up and being like, who would ma yeah, mesh yeah, well? Yeah. And I felt like I could see him mixing well with some of the people in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll all right. Well, um, all right. So uh, we come back to me in uh, the in, in round number three. And I'm checking my notes. I'm trying to see if there's been a mistake here. I don't know if there has been because I'm saying I, I'm not sure. And maybe there's something that you? I don't know. Is it Amon? Is it Amon? Uh, did, I thought did Amon just pick. Oh, that, that, that wasn't was Amon's me. pick. Oh, I'm sorry. Was, uh, I, that, Amon was, was so high on. Wow, uh, Amon was so jump? high wow. on, on him. I thought it was. I, I wrote in my notes it was Amon's pick. I'm sorry. <laughs> my God, Rob, I'm trying to cut the line. Finally, I almost uh, jumped the gun. I'm not gonna lie. There was a moment there that I thought if I let him keep going, he'll give away his pick. Yeah. Okay, no, no. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. I apologize. Jump the gun. I'm on. He's on okay. the clock. Okay. Okay. So my heart really wants to go with this person. Come on. The chat wants Kyle. Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> is Kyle even eligible? Like, is that a, is that a thing? I I'll allow it. <laughs> I'm not taking no damn cop. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, is he gonna do it? Y'all are crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> damn it. Oh, okay, 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 uh, okay. I. You know, I've been really trying to be good. I've been trying to be strategic this time. I've been trying to be go strategic this time because I want to win. But my heart perfect. wants to go. My heart wants to go with this person so bad because I I feel like there's like already like a degree of connection here. I have to go with Brayden, guys. I just love Brayden so 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 much. <laughs> okay, I'm so afraid because the minute because I was watching Terrence stream the other day. 
And whenever you got to Brayden, everybody popped up in the chat saying, Gary, 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 Gary. And I know that's going to, like, the people in the house are going to do the exact same thing. And I'm so scared that he's going to be so likable that they're going to get rid of him as soon as they can. And I really don't want that to happen. That scares me so much. But I know that he is a fan. I know that he is a friend of Kirsten's. So I know, like, so we know that he is a fan, and I really wanna, I really wanna root for him, and I, I want him to be on my team so that when he does well, I can feel extra good about it. I just, I had to go with my heart this time. Like, I just, I, I feel like there's, I feel like there's a lane within, within this cast for him to find his footing. Is I feel like as long as he can get like his little group of people in the beginning to shield him. I think that there's a way for him to win. I mean, the first winner of Big Brother Canada was almost Gary, right? Mm -hmm. And if he is anything like Gary, even though I don't think that they're that much alike, just because they're both black and gay doesn't really mean much. So we really should stop saying that. But I think that there is like some Gary upside to him. And so that's what excites me the most. And I just hope that, I hope that my heart isn't like just fooling me here. But I just, I, that's what I'm drawn to right now. So I'm, I'm picking Brayden. And that rounds up. Hey, my team. If there's a lot of recruits, I'm on. They might not even know who Gary is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I like mean, Braden a lot. Gary hasn't that... played in four years. <laughs> that's true. I know. Um, I know. Yeah, I liked Braden a lot. I thought his video was really entertaining. I feel like he's going to be fun and sociable and like very, you know. I'm excited to watch him for sure. I am worried, like Amon said, you know, who knows? But at the same time, I could absolutely see him connecting with people just like on a personal level and being mm -hmm. able to use that to kind of get him forward rather than just immediately like, oh, it's Gary, get him out. So um, I, I do think he has a good shot. I am I love that Kirsten knows him and likes him and that's, uh, that's a good, uh, good for me. So, um, you know, I, I do like him a lot and um, I think he's a good pick. Oh. Yes. More news. Oh, wait, well, never mind. Yes. <laughs> well, Kyle, what's has up, a, Kyle has a page up uh, up here. Uh, I've been, ref he has, I been he refreshing has, the website. I was not yeah. ready yet. Or yes. bio, right, bio well, coming soon. <laughs> yeah, let's let's finish on Braden and then we'll I'm gonna do another Kyle check. <laughs> Kyle yeah. check. Yeah. Taryn, how do you feel about Braden? I liked I liked Braden. Um Braden probably would have been my pick if uh if he had come to me. Uh, I think that um, you know, based on his video and his bio, it's hard to really get a good read on like how well he knows the show, how strategic he might be. It's a it's a lot about like uh like he's clearly very funny. You you get a sense of his personality, um, but you don't get a sense of how he'll play the game. Um, mm -hmm. and that's that's the only sort of skepticism I have. But he knows the show like he yeah. he knows what he knows what he's getting in for um and you know i i would hope that he has done some studying that he has been he's been you know preparing uh and if that's the case then i think he could be a, a dark horse here okay mm -hmm. yeah the only thing that i didn't like yeah. from uh brain's video that he talked about uh being spicy and being petty and I feel like that those are not necessarily great traits to have in the game of Big Brother. It's a long season. And uh, I feel like that you have to be able to get over things. Like, uh, I, you can hold a grudge. I feel like he's just saying that, though, because Ica has said that in the past. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like a yeah. nice buzzword to say. So I'm and Ica was right there. The Ica was I, right there. Ica was right there. She was right there. She, I mean, she had a good, she was at the final four. She was right there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so he can be petty in an Ica 2.0 sense. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, all right. Any other thoughts on Brayden? Nothing other than that. I, I, th he's my special interest pick for my team, and I, I'm rooting for him really hardcore. I hope that he can go far. Okay. All right. Good luck to Brayden. Uh, we do have a photo of uh, of Kyle officially on the website. Uh, you could see here is uh, here is Kyle. Now he uh, has uh, right there. His name is Kyle Moore. Uh, <laughs> ironically, there is nothing more to tell you, but uh, here he is, <laughs> Kyle Moore, uh, currently the fourteenth contestant on. Big Brother Canada 9. So there there he is. Uh, ready to go. Good job, Big Brother Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And you know, just make sure you got a couple other people on ice. Uh, just in, just in case. <laughs> you never know. On icebergs. Yeah, on <laughs> icebergs. All right. Uh, so we have two two picks left, uh, but four people uh, up for grabs. Uh, at this point, uh, we have and correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. We have Kyle, who is a uh, newly added. We I'll have Tara. Kind of yeah, we have Tina, and we have Victoria. Those are the four. Okay. So we'll go to me and then we'll go to Taryn and then uh, we'll hold off on the last two people because uh, then we'll see who gets added. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, boy, I am surprised that this person fell. I wonder, is there something that I don't know where people <laughs> didn't, didn't choose this person because I feel like they're good. I'm not sure, but either uh, people say that like, oh, this is amazing. Or you, you idiot. How did you not know about this? But I'm going to go with Victoria. Okay. So Victoria yeah. came across very fun in her video. Uh, mm -hmm. Very social. Seems like she's going to get along with everybody. Am I, d was there a reason why nobody wanted Victoria? Uh, Bra Brayden and Victoria were the people I was hoping I'd. I'd hope I was going to get one of them. <laughs> yeah, I had her sort of like middle of the pack on my list. Uh, she does social work. Uh, she's a, a, a self-described social butterfly, which uh, is something that you want to be in the Big Brother house. So, mm -hmm. yeah, give me some Victoria. The queen the, uh, that uh, all Victorias are good at Big Brother. Everybody <laughs> knows that. I feel like I... I, I personally liked her video, but I was a little concerned that she might be a little too much for people. Um, it's too possible. Much fun? Yeah, too much fun. There's such a thing as too much fun. Um, I just feel like she, it's possible that she was just like really playing up her personality and like, you know, just for the sake of video introduction. Um, and that it'll be a little more like low key in the house. Um, but I'm worried that she's just, a little too bubbly, a little too outgoing for someone to live with 24 seven. I don't know. That's mm. just kind of the vibe I was getting. Um, but it's possible that that's just a video thing and she'll be totally different in the house. Or even if she's not totally mm -hmm. different in the house, if she's just not too much in the house, I feel like that'll be totally fine. I thought that she was, she came across really intelligent. She says she knows the game. Um, so, you know, if, if she's not too much for people to handle, then I feel like she'll do great. So that was my concern, and that was what was holding me back from picking her. Um, but overall, I do like her, and I do think that, you know, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I, I think Victoria could be a bridge between the, like, uh, the younger crowd and the slightly older crowd, because the older crowd is not that old. Um, and I mm -hmm. think that she can probably relate to the people who have families. Uh, she works with with children, um, but she also has this like party side to her. I think she'll easily fit in with uh, with the younger, you know, single people, uh, even though she is in a, in a relationship. Um, and so I think that she's well positioned. I think that she absolutely could do well. I just I don't know uh how how well she knows the show um and you know it's uh i like i said i i, I would have picked her here but uh rah, rah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh we'll see uh she says uh she's a no man's in the house seems like a fun personality why not it's round three yeah, it's, I, it's I, round I, three I, baby I, I was like how Anything is she goes. still here how's she still here <laughs> i like, think we're th we're i think what melissa picks in. Yeah, 11. I think what Melissa said was true and that like I feel like the overarching narrative for her right now is that people are afraid that she's going to be a little bit too much. And I and I I tend to believe that probably is just her in the video because I'd have to imagine if I was doing a video for Big Brother Mom would probably be most like her. So yeah, people have been locked in their house for a year. She's excited. <laughs> yes, yes. Leave so her I alone. She was the other one. I was vacillating like the like like Taryn was. I but I ultimately ended up picking Brayden, but I mean, I think that there is definitely a, a lane for her to to fall into and mm -hmm. uh, make some or you know just do some damage. I think I yeah. think she's definitely one of those players that needs an alliance. That's yes. for sure. I think that she needs she needs an alliance and she needs people to protect her and she needs people to like sort of like guide her through the game. And if she can make it deep, then yeah, sure, sure. She says she wants to have a female bestie, divide and conquer, and find the strongest guy in the house and see if they want to secretly work together. Uh, yeah, I mean, Sounds hey. as good as anything. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm not knocking it. All right. So, Taryn, this you're in a unique position here at the bottom of the draft. I you have three different people to choose from for the last pick. Normally, you would oh, just get the leftovers. First two picks. I don't yeah. feel bad. But this is but <laughs> but you uh like uh would, are not getting like the total dregs. You have a choice here. I do. Uh, I have a choice between Tara, Tina, and the and mystery item, the our covered good item, Kyle. Yeah. They found Kyle's Twitter, by the way. They did. And it and looks he... like, yeah, it looks like he's a decent guy. He like has a mental health podcast and he, uh, okay. I mean, who knows, but you know, mm -hmm. he seems did like anybody listen to all the episodes it's yet? It's not problematic yeah. yet, supposedly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to need the detective work. Uh, to yeah, pretty quick. Don't be phoning in. Don't be phoning in. Don't be phoning in. in. Don't be phoning <laughs> in. in <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So here's the thing. I really, I really like Tina and I, I would not, I would not be mad to have Tina on my team. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I also think it would be real fun to, to just roll the dice and go mystery Kyle. Uh, so I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I'm torn. I, I, I'm probably not going to go Tara. Uh, not the and, and here's the thing. I think that all three, uh, no, not all three, all two remaining people that I know of, uh, <laughs> they're both perfectly good options. Like I don't feel like I'm left with like no win choices yeah. here. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that Tina is excellent. I think that Tara has a lot of potential, um, and I just think that uh, it would be funny to pick Kyle. So okay. um, I'm really torn here, but uh, you know, Kyle. Look, um, I was reading I was reading Tina's bio and she said that her mantra, the words that she lives by are you only live once. So I'm picking Kyle. We're rolling it. <laughs> OK. All right. Yay. Uh, good choice. Kyle, we have no no wins, no uh, nominations, no bio <laughs> for Kyle the 26 year old. Wins. Red Deer, Alberta. That'd be amazing. Hockey coach. Oh, did you, oh, apparently whoever's running Braden's Twitter account just said that Braden knows Kyle. Oh! Whoa! And they know he, each other! They know knew. each other! Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Well, Tara, it looks and, like we're going to be working together this Wait, season. Wait, and, and by, <laughs> by proxy, does Kyle know Kirsten? Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Somebody uh, call in Kirsten real quick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right, Taryn goes with Kyle. Uh, should we talk about the two uh, women who did not get selected? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess uh, that if each of you had another pick, would you go Tara or Tina? Well, you guys know I, I would go Tina. Tina. I would go Tara. Yeah. Tara. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. T Tara. Is it is it pronounced Tara? It's spelled mm -hmm. Tara. I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think um, it's Tara. I'd go I Tara. Think I think I think I'd probably go Tina like Taryn. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh Team Tina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe Tara uh, or Tara will be the first boot. It'll be confusing. Taryn, Tina, uh, you know, uh Taryn, <laughs> Taryn, Tina, Taryn. What do you think Tina. about Tara? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the perfect alliance name. Oh my god, Tara Tina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go in alphabetical order and talk about Tara uh, Tara first. Okay. Nice. Uh, she is a mom. Seems like a, a tough, a tough cookie. Uh, she's yep. uh, exercising. Yeah, athletic. She does not like kids that pee on the toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, she's ready she's, to go. Again, at, at thirty-seven, uh, a little bit older. Uh, she has a family. Um, based on her video, it seems like being a mom is a, is a huge uh, part of her identity. Um, and that's something that most of the cast is not going to be able to relate to, yeah. uh, which is definitely mm -hmm. concerning. Boy, uh, my wife is a mom. Uh, she would be so <laughs> excited to get out of our house and go be on uh, any Big Brother season for three months and uh, be away from children. She could be go. shot out of a cannon, Tara. Nicole, also very fit. So, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, no kids and I can do workouts here. What, what do I need to do? Sign me up. Yeah, I mean, I that that that's all great, and I like the fact that in her video she was like, you know, pretending to have evictions and stuff. That that's that's a fan right there, and that the that's what made it so hard for me to go with Tina because I felt like Tara was probably more of the fan. 
But I just, I just worry that like, is she like, I mean, she's like, she said that the, her de defining characteristic was that she is used to dealing with people that are younger than her. And I'm like, but these people are 25. They're not three yeah. or four or five. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, are you gonna, are you gonna automatically come in here wanting to be the mom, wanting to guide people, wanting to uh, tell you when you're right and when you're wrong? Is that gonna rub people the wrong way? I feel like she has like uh, some, I just feel like the mom will jump out. The mean I, mom, because there's nothing wrong with being a mom, but just like the mean <laughs> mom could jump out real quick. I felt the same way. The line that stood out to me in her uh, bio is that she said the fact that would surprise people uh, about her is that she's actually a pretty strict mom. Mm -hmm. um, and like, if that's true, and she's used to being around children, and she's a, uh, you know, a spin instructor, I, I think she's used to being in charge. Yeah, I think she's used to, uh, yeah. you know, telling people what to do. I'm worried that uh, it, it, like that, if that translates in any way, uh, this is going to be a disaster. Mm -hmm. OK, that photo looks like Kate Beckinsale to me, by the way. I'm just oh. going to throw that out there. Like every time I like West come across it. it, I could swear there's like a Kate Beckinsale photo that looks exactly like that. So anyway, I, it. I can't okay. get out of my mind. All right. Uh, so uh, there's there's Tara. And then uh, let's then talk about Tina, the other person who is still up for grabs in round number four of this draft. Uh, once we meet the uh, boy, uh, it's going to be uh, a wild round four with uh, two returning players and two people that uh, went undrafted. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Tina, Tina Thistle is uh, our other player who went undrafted. And Tina is a 42-year-old uh, graphic designer. Yes. Yeah. I love Tina. I, yeah. I think she's I think she's great. Um, I love that she's also somebody, she said she got into hockey recently. Um, and she's been playing for, I think, two years now. Uh, so, you know, not somebody that is going to be a pushover in competitions necessarily that, uh, that have some physical elements. Um, she, uh, is just so charming. Uh, like, uh, I feel like she, again, she is 42. So th the oldest person on the cast, that is a very tough position to be in, but mm -hmm. I think that she has the charm for uh, for everyone in this house to be like, ah, oh, we love Tina. Um, we don't want Tina to go, and I think that's a uh, that's a good a good place to be. Yeah, yeah, I, I I like her a lot too. I mean, I think that she's she's someone that I would want to hang out with if I were in the house. She just seems so sort of like just down to earth and sort of like down for whatever. She doesn't she doesn't really like to argue. She, I feel like she's just going to be someone that is you know really you know just communal. You know, I just mm -hmm. feel like she'll just everybody will love her. And if she can sprinkle in a few wins here and there, because, I mean, yeah, she is a little older. Um, mm -hmm. so sometimes the physical competitions don't really work out in people that are older's favor. But not every competition is like that. So if, if she can if she can get into yeah. a position of power, I can really see her having the cleanest HOH out of any of these people. <laughs> like, I really do. So right. we'll see. We'll don't see. forget Karen I, won the first uh, Big Brother Canada 5 HOH, she, and she went big game hunting. She <laughs> did. Mm -hmm. I... I feel like uh, Tina, people will like her and I feel like she'll get along with people. And that's, and she says that she, you know, wants to get along with everyone and everything like that. But I feel like that's a problem. Like for me, like the, the desire is just to like be well liked and get along with people. And I don't necessarily see like the desire to one. like play and like actually like win. So I just felt like I didn't, I wasn't seeing that from her, whether it was from her video or her bio, I just didn't get that. Um, mm -hmm. And so like, yeah, that's great. You know, coming in, people will like you, maybe you won't go first, maybe you will, you know, stick around, but I just don't see the like win, the drive to win there. So I, I just like, I wouldn't pick her, but that's just because like, I, I don't know if she's in it to win it and that's all. Yeah. yeah. I think she'll be a fun character in the season. Hope she yeah. sticks around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's our cast so far. Uh, we may get two returning players or some other uh, some other twist along the way, potentially. Or maybe we play with 14. <laughs> we'll all find out. Uh, maybe as we get closer to uh, March 3rd or uh, in the premiere itself. And uh, that's uh, what's coming up. Taryn, any, anything else that we should highlight before we wrap things up tonight? Um, 
No, other than the fact that I, I think this is a a promising cast, I think that the one of the things that I said uh, when I saw this cast initially was that I didn't really see any duds except for Ethan, and uh, they fixed it. So <laughs> who's that? Now that's over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's talk about what's coming up here on Rob as a podcast. All right. Uh, last night we got together uh, with uh, Jessica Lee and Chappelle to talk about the 33rd best season of Survivor. It was Survivor Heroes versus Healers versus Hustlers. Had a lot of fun. Over three hours going through everything from Survivor 35. Have had a lot of fun. Uh, watched eight seasons of Survivor so far in uh, 2021. But it was the third best of the seasons I've watched so far in uh, this season. You could hear our recap there, uh, and then hear our recap, our additional feedback show in the Patreon podcast feed over the weekend. All right, uh, then. We also have, oh, Tough as Nails. Uh, boy, Tough as Nails had some, uh, it's been a wild week in uh, reality TV with comings and goings. And uh, Tough as Nails was no exception last night. Uh, Mike Bloom and I broke down a very interesting start to Tough as Nails season two, episode three. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you can check that out. And uh, Jessica Lease will be back with us uh, next week as we uh, talk more Tough as Nails. Then... Oh, I also recorded this podcast today. I watched all of Pirate Master this month on the RHAP Rewind. Uh, check out what was going on. Uh, episodes uh, 12 through the finale. Jordan Kalish, Seeds Matey, uh, joined myself and Aaron Robertson as we broke down the home stretch of uh, Pirate Master. We put up a tweet earlier today from the Rob Has a Podcast Twitter feed that March is going to mm -hmm. be Listener Choice Month on the RHAP Rewind. Myself and Chappelle are going to be watching the first episode of five different series that you tell us to watch. And then the winner we will watch in the month of April. So you can uh, reply to that tweet from the Rob Has a Podcast uh, Twitter account to let us know what you want to see us watch in March. All right. Then... Uh, we're covering 90 Day Fiance as well. Myself and uh, Mr. 90 Day Fiance, Puya Zambakili, and I, we spoke with uh, Dr. Jatia Hart this week. Uh, check that out. Everything going on on 90 Day Fiance. Uh, and then uh, this week, we uh, have been uh, trying to uh, raise some awareness for the North Texas Food Bank for all of our listeners in the state of Texas who are suffering. Uh, a lot, so many people uh, had damage done to their house or are without power and food and water. Uh, we made a contribution to buy 3,000 meals from the North Texas Food Bank. If you are interested in also making a donation, you could head on over to ntfb.org. And we're thinking of all of our uh, listeners in uh, Texas, a lot of other uh, great organizations that are helping people in Texas. If you want to uh, consider giving some uh, uh, of your uh thoughts and uh, potential donations if you have the means to the North Texas Food Bank or any other great organizations in the state of Texas. All right. There you go. All right. So everybody's uh, got a lot of great stuff going on. Melissa, what, what, where can people keep up with you here heading into this Big Brother season? Uh, you can find me on my Twitter, um, also on other social media at It's Melissa with three yes. A's. Melissa, will you be... It considering any drunk history of big brother canada what would it be <laughs> ica ripping Ooh. up the letters yeah that's a good one the triple uh, or the double eviction where netta went out yeah that oh gosh these are good although amon kind of already handled that one not, yeah, not what drunk, would it be but, what would know. it be yeah <laughs> yeah there's so many i mean like do you want good kevin tv Sella, kevin uh, good getting TV. through the triple eviction yeah yeah gosh yeah there's so many man you've given me some uh, good inspiration i'm going to have to take a look at that mhm mm what does everybody Definitely. want? Good TV. <laughs> um, all right. It's Melissa with three A's. Uh, mm -hmm. Aman, what are you up to these days? Uh, you can continue to follow me on Twitter at Aman Adwin. I have also gotten into the Twitch game where I am reading lots of yes. Harry Potter to people. I, I was watching Aman the other TV. day on Twitch. And yeah. then, uh, then Aman was like, oh, this is a catfish. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure because I, I I didn't even know that RHAP had a Twitch channel. So I was like, "Who the hell is this masquerading yeah. as Rob at like three o'clock in the morning over here, which is midnight for you?" But yeah, mm -hmm. I, was, I, I didn't know it was you. But yeah, check me out. Harry, lots of Harry Potter content over there, and and, and other things as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Check out uh, Amon Edwin. And then Taryn, what do you have going on? Hey, you calm before on... the storm. Yes, you can find me on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Taryn Armstrong. Tomorrow night, uh, I'm having an awards show. Uh, best things of the year. Um, of what and year? Of 2020, Rob. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. the, best, the best movies that didn't come out. The best books that didn't come. Uh, I, it, it'll be fun. Uh, I've, I've actually I've put out a four for people to fill out. There's going to be audience choices. There's going to be nominees. You can predict who's going to win. Um, I've What's even got the award called? graphics for it. It's the Terran Terran 2020 Awards uh, with, uh, presented by the Robot Army. Um, and uh, is, is the statue is called the Terran? Uh, you know, I haven't gotten that far. Um, we'll we'll have to figure. Maybe it's called the maybe it's the robot. I don't know. The robot. Yeah. Mm. Uh, there, okay. there. Yes. There's a dress code. If you're going to show up, make sure that uh, you're you're fancily dressed. Yes. How how fancy? Like business casual? You know, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, fancy is whatever fancy means to you. Mm -hmm. If you if it, whatever fancy means to you, that's what that's what fancy is. Are you going to wear a suit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Oh okay. My goodness, was... Wild. Okay. Oh, a and, wonderful and, way to kick off award season. Yeah. When are you doing that? Tomorrow night, nine p.m. Tomorrow Eastern. Night. It's Friday night. Friday night. Check out uh, the Taron Awards. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, that very uh, interesting. This is wild. You blew my mind. <laughs> Not expecting yeah. to hear about the Taron Awards. Um. Yeah. It's it's gonna be fun. Yeah, uh, I've managed to get through a whole podcast without talking about Clubhouse. I love Clubhouse. Uh, if anybody's on Clubhouse, uh, oh, we look know, for me. Rob. I, I, we well, know. That, uh, <laughs> just, uh, I'm telling the listeners uh, that I love, I love going on Clubhouse. Uh, if you're on Clubhouse, uh, look, look for me there and uh, come say hi. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Really looking forward to the Big Brother Canada season. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, check out uh, more Big Brother Canada coverage uh, coming on Monday night uh, with Taryn and Mike. And you can subscribe to our Big Brother podcast feed at robhaswebsite.com slash BB podcast to get everything Big Brother Canada that we're putting out in the podcast feed. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.